Hey, welcome to my channel. Let's look at the student's table. So you, we still do the same thing. You come here, up, tap on create. Then they bring for you table, tap on it. Then you come where there is view. You tap on view, then design view. Yeah. Then you name the table. Change the name to student's table. Student's table. Yeah, you tap on OK. Yeah, it's, it comes as student's table. Then the field name. Field name we shall have. The first thing we shall have is the student ID. Student ID is the primary key. The primary key because we like every student has a different student id then we come down we put student name student name we go down we put date of birth date of birth we still go down we put religion We still go down, we put campus. There is campus. Then there is also sex or gender. Yeah. Then you come here on the data type. The data type, the student ID can be an automatic number from one to something. So we change it. It will be in form of text. Then the student name will be in words, of course, so it will also be in form of text. You can put short or long, any. Then date of birth. Date of birth, it won't be text. It is date or time. See here, date or time. Then religion. Religion will be in text. You can leave the short one or put long text, any. Then campus will also be in text. Even sex will be in text. Yeah, you can put either short or long, they all work. Yeah. Then after that you come here. Let me say for sex. Sex we we shall need a choice. Like you choose either female or male. Yeah, instead of you typing it all the time. So let's automate it you come here you tap on lock up wizard lock up wizard they take you here so here you you choose i'll type in the values that i want you tap on next so you come here and type female but someone is either a female or a male you tap on next. What label do you like your local field to have? Six. So you tap on finish. And then campus. Campus, we have different campuses and we shall need like options. So lock up wizard. Sorry, you tap here, you tap on lockup wizard. Then you tap here, I'll type in the values that I want. Then you tap on next. So you come here and then we have main campus. Main campus. We have ginger campus. We have Mbale campus. Mbale campus. Then we have Mbarara campus.
sorry. Barara campus and lastly we have Arua campus. Arua campus then next then finish. Then for religion for religion someone is either a Muslim or Christian or some other things that we don't understand. So okay. Oh maybe because it's long text, let's change it to short text in order for us to lock up. So yeah. So if it's long text you cannot be able to lock up. So you should put it in short text, it's better. Okay, so I'll type in the values that I want, then next. Mm, here, Christian. Then down, Muslim. Others. next then finish yes yeah, so we are done the next thing we do is to control self we are done with the first step yeah after that you come here and tap on close you do not close using this one you use this one so you close that table after closing it it shows up here we have the course table that we first created then the students table let's tap on the students table to see how it looks like this is how it is student id it is the primary key student name date of birth religion campus and all that yeah, so date of birth let's try religion religion we put options so here it is showing it's either muslim a christian or others so tap on christian then campus it is either main campus ginger mbale mbarara or arua so main campus sex sex it's either male or female so female then student's ID, which is 19007127657. Then student name, Livingstone. so it is an example of how we can do it yeah but the main thing was creating the table and then we come here and close it we shall come back later to do other things yeah but those are the first steps then course table we see how it looks like yeah we already did that so let's catch up in my next video we shall be continuing with access